Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Ask Rob Trick where I try to answer your questions from the comments sections of my videos and if you have any questions please feel free to leave them down in the comments below. Uh, there's no question too small and I'll do my best to answer them as soon as I can. And for all of you watching if you find these videos helpful please consider buying me a coffee or making a small donation in the links below because they are greatly appreciated and they help me to continue making videos like this. All right, the first question I have here is, uh, actually it was a private message in my Facebook, so I won't say the person's name, but uh, I will read the question here. And it says, hi Rob, I have an Olympus Pen F and I followed you here on YouTube. I'm a small business owner and is trying to take a picture for my website in which I require an 1140 by 500 pixel size for the web. I shoot in auto mode and would like to ask you, where do I change my picture setting or size to match the requirement, please? Uh, your kind help would be much appreciated. Thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's a couple of ways to do this. Uh, you cannot get an exact 1140 by 500. So you're actually going to have to do this in two steps. Uh, you take the picture in your camera uh, in a 16 by 9 ratio to help you kind of frame the image in a similar ratio that your website needs. And then you're going to have to edit it in Olympus Workspace, which is a free editing software from OM Systems that you can use with your pen app. So I'll walk you through the picture taking process, the settings in the camera, and then what you need to do in OM Workspace. Now the Pen F and most of the Olympus cameras come with preset uh, ratios and dimensions. None of them are gonna be exactly what you need, the 1140 by 500. So what I'm gonna do is set the camera up so it's as close as possible to the dimensions that you need, and that'll help you with framing the image when you take the picture. So I've done a full reset on the camera so that we can all be on the same page. And we're just going to go into shooting menu one and then go down here to image aspect and click OK. And then on this screen, you can see all of these different dimensions and we can change the aspect ratio, which, you know, we can change it to square or 16 by nine, etc. So the raw image will always be the native. 5184 by 3888, which is, you know, much bigger than you need. And then below that are the JPEG settings, large, medium, small, and super large. This is the high res shot mode. But you can see that the small JPEG is pretty close. We're at 1280 by 960. So what we can also do is change the aspect ratio. We can go to 16 by nine, which is now 1280 by 720. So that's even a little bit closer to what you need. And if we check the other ones, they are not as close as the 16 by nine. Like one by one is completely square, 960 by 960. So let's go back to 16 by nine. And that's gonna be the closest ratio that we can get to the one that you need. All right, now let's go up to our uh, resolution icon here, click okay. And for still pictures, we're gonna select the raw plus small JPEG. So there's the small that gave us the 12, I forget, 1280 by 720. But we want to do raw plus small, like so. Okay, so now when you look at your screen, um, you're going to see a 16 by 9 display. So I'll see if I can demonstrate that. So now we have a 16 by 9 display. And it's a little hard to tell, but basically the top and the bottom have been cropped off in the display. And this will help you frame your image uh, when you take your picture. All right, now one more thing I want you to do is go into your uh, custom menu and then scroll down here to um, the color resolution white balance settings and go into your resolution settings. And we're going to go over here to our small JPEG and change this to super fine. So this will give you the highest quality JPEG for your small uh, JPEGs. And honestly, I recommend you change it for all of these so that you always get the best quality possible. And then uh, what I would do here is change your keep warm colors to off. So that way, if you're shooting uh, maybe the office space indoors, uh, this will help keep your colors more accurate. And that's all we need to do. So let's just double check. We're shooting in natural color profile, 16 by nine, small, super fine, plus raw. And if we click the super control panel, it's a little easier to see. We have super fine, small, plus raw, 16 by nine. 
All right, now let's take a picture. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to back up so that I have a little headroom on the top and bottom because the framing that your website needs is very, very narrow. So I'm going to make sure there's enough space above and below the subject of what I'm taking a picture of um, so that I can crop in later. Okay, I've imported the images into OM Workspace. Uh, and again, this is a free software you can download from Olympus. Uh, you may have your own photo editing software, but I'm going to show you how to do it here. And if we look at the first image, the JPEG that was captured, you can see that it's the 1280 by 720. So if you're not going to do any editing to the image, uh, all you have to do is crop this in to be exactly the 1140 by 500 that you need for your website. So all you have to do is go into the cropping tool here. And then uh, you're going to leave this on original. Just type in what you need here. 1140 by 500. And then just position this to roughly what you think you'll need. And then just click on the color tab here or the basic tab just to kind of get a view. And I'm going to back off a little bit and just look at it overall. If this is right, then you're ready. But if you want to reposition it a little bit, just go back to your cropping tab and maybe adjust it over a little bit like this. And then double check it again. And if that looks good, all you have to do is export this. So I'm going to export this. I'm going to uh, rename the file to say 1140x500. You're going to make sure that this box is checked here, resize. And you want to uh, resize this and say 1140. You can ignore this number here because you can see the asterisk here says when the aspect is 4x3, but we're not doing a 4x3 aspect. Um, so just type in 1140 here rename your file and then click export and then again i'm sorry also make sure you have super fine uh, jpeg here and then just do export and then in a moment you'll see another image pop up here and if i click on this you can double check over here that the image size is exactly 1140 by 500 and this is the image you can use and upload to your website. Now, if you're working with the raw image, for example, the process is very similar. Let me fit this to the screen. Uh, basically, you want to be able to crop in, right? So let's go to the cropping tool and do manual and type in the same thing, 1140 by 500. And you can see it's a lot smaller, right? It doesn't fit properly because we're working with the raw image, which is a much larger file. But all you have to do is maintain the same aspect ratio, then export it as 1140. Now to expand this without messing it up, because if I just drag this, I could potentially mess up the ratio. So what I need to do is let's type in 1140 again by 500 is grab this corner here until I see my double arrow, diagonal double arrow, then hold the shift key on my keyboard and then left click on my mouse and just drag this out. And that'll maintain the exact ratio that we need. And all I have to do is crop it roughly about the same like I did before. And then click on the uh, color tab or basic tab just to double check. Let me back out a little bit. And that looks pretty good. And well, let me let me do a quick edit first. I'm just going to apply a pinhole filter to it there. OK, now let's go ahead and export. And I'm going to call this uh, edit. 1140 by 500 and again make sure your resize box is checked you have 1140 set here and then just do export and then you'll see the file pop up here in just a moment and I'll click on that 
and let's expand it back out and there you have your uh, uh, edited image that you did in raw for your website and you can double check the image size and it came out to 1140 by 501 so it's off by one pixel but that's close enough for your website you shouldn't have any issue exporting this to your website for use all right now there's a dozen different ways to kind of do the same thing there's there's more than one way to skin a potato so to speak right but uh, this is probably the easiest way to do it from your camera to home workspace to the final image that you need and that's all I have for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, consider buying me a coffee or leaving a donation on the links below. They're greatly appreciated. And thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. But until then, I hope to see you again soon.